Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today we have one from Falcon Models. It is 172nd scale diecast. It is from the Wings of Fame series. I'm not 100% sure how readily available Falcon Models are these days. Uh, I did buy this one secondhand, so I grabbed this off a seller on eBay for 100 bucks. But today's example is a Dassault Mirage 3 um, from the French Air Force. So we'll open it up here and have a look as it sits in the packet. Um, so the French uh, made fighter was made by Dassault Aviation and was the first Western European combat aircraft to go past Mark II. And um, it was first introduced in the service in 1961 into the French Air Force, of course. And uh, this aircraft was also used by the Israeli Air Force, Royal Australian Air Force even used them, and even the Pakistani Air Force used them as well, just to name a few. And uh, actually, the Pakistan Air Force still use some of these in a training capacity, from what I am aware. And a total of uh, 1,422 aircraft were made in all variants. And uh, what we'll do, speaking of variants, we want to get this out of the box and have a little look at it. So what we'll do is we'll open this up and check it out. So here we have this uh, Dassault Mirage 3 out of the box and it does come with a little packet that does uh, contain the stand. It looks very similar to those Dragon Dragon Wings models uh, stands. And inside the blister packet we'll get that lid off and have a little close up look at it. it does look very nice in there. The camouflage scheme does look pretty good. We will just grab that aircraft out. And underneath inside here, we obviously have a little bit of ordnance in a baggie and a little small baggie that does have the landing gear. But what we'll do is we'll check out the aircraft itself. And it does look really nice, actually. This isn't too bad at all. Um, this is the first Mirage that I have got so far. And um, I think it doesn't look too bad. I think that camouflage scheme, we'll have a look at some of those panel lines. And this is my first Falcon models as well, so um, I think overall I'm pretty happy with it. I think it comes up really nice. We'll run down the side there. It does have some great markings. The details on it are quite nice. So obviously there must be a pitted tube that needs to be fitted to the front of the aircraft. We'll go around and have a look at the side here. It's obviously the French markings there, and it's got some beautiful... Uh, Beautiful details there. The markings on the tail are really nice. I'll have a little look at the back. There's not a huge amount of uh, engine detail. It's not a massive amount there. What we'll do is we'll uh, put it on the back here and have a little look on it. It's very silver underneath, so it's very bright underneath there. Um, I think that's an interesting uh, colour scheme to choose underneath the aircraft is that bright silver there but you can see it does have some ordnance already on it and obviously the uh, other bits of ordnance which look like fuel tanks will be fitted here and obviously the landing gear and everything fits there and speaking of landing gear we'll do the usual and we will uh we'll kit this mirage out and have a look at it all set up so here it is all kitted out uh if you want it um in flight it's just those three pieces like usual but um here it is all set up with uh wheels in there's uh, fuel tanks on. It was a straightforward um, assembly. There was no dramas. Everything slipped in there nicely. These are quite a nice build. Uh, as I said, this is the first Falcon Models one I do have. And uh, I think this is quite a nice little build. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, that's for sure. I think it comes up really nice. Um, straightforward, all dropped in nicely. Uh, just chuck your pitter tube in and the landing gear and those two little bits of ordnance. And she is all good to go. I think this comes up fantastic and uh, I, I definitely think if you can manage to grab one of these no doubt you'll probably have to I don't know um, source them maybe on the second hand market but I don't know as I said I'm not sure how readily available these are anymore to buy but uh, I did purchase this one second hand myself and I think it's quite good so we'll just put it on the deck here and see how she sits in the landing gear without an issue zoom in a fraction for you and there she is. I think it's fantastic, actually. I, I, for $100, um, I reckon it was a, a pretty good score. So once again, this is from uh, Falcon Models, one seventy-second scale die cast. I think it's a really, really nice unit. Um, and it comes up really well, presents nicely. The panel lines are beautiful. I think it's really nice. Um, it's the Dossault Mirage 3 2EB. 
um, from the Esquadron, 1975, the Army de Air, or the French Air Force, I might be butchering that a little bit, so I, I do apologise to my French viewers if there are any. I do not speak French whatsoever, <laughs> and I think it's a nice little unit. As I said, I'm not, not sure on the availability of these anymore. So if you uh, can manage to grab one and find one, grab it. I reckon it's pretty good. So I'll take some photos of this uh, without my sausage fingers in the way so you can check it out in a uh, bit more detail. And uh, once again, thank you very much. If you did enjoy the video, throw us a bit of a like. That'd be awesome. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. That'd be great as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys.